Hey now. I'm an all-star? Sure, let's go with that. Um, so we are back with um, what is going to give me probably the most amount of headaches is uh, this chapter. So everyone is fucking insane in this. I'm so excited to see what's happening. Okay, so um, there's a couple things here that I that I noticed. So the this room here that has the two locked chests... Usually the guy in front of the door is supposed to have a door key, and he doesn't. And these two guys are supposed to have chest keys, which they don't. So I can't get into those chests at all. Unless these two thieves run over with their lockpicks and they open the door for me and they take the items. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing is that there's these two uh, enemies here. This cavalier and this pirate. Uh, this ca uh, cavalier has a spear, which is really good, really good stats, and it's B rank. So that will be really good to use if I can get someone who has it. But I think this is going to be the Seth only run, so I don't know. The other character who I know I can have Seth use this, uh, this guy has a hammer, which is 10 might, 91 hit. Um, so Seth can definitely use this. Um, that would be like a good alternative. The main boss, Zonta, is a bard. Um, so he can't really move off of his spot. Ah, get fucked. Yeah, he can't move off his spot to, uh, have anyone, uh, do any dances for, or to dance for anybody. So at least that'll be easy for you. Um, yeah. Easier. Easier, but, like, a lot of the enemies have, like, this guy has a steel sword, uh, that I can get, but that literally does nothing. A lot of the enemies have weapons that don't really have any sort of that won't be able to hit. Um, so I'm actually... It's twofold because I don't know how this is going to go in comparison. Uh, first off, I want to get... Um, Ephraim over here because he's going to take out this Pegasus Knight that's going to try to make a beeline right for him. Um, These two guys are not going to give me an easy time, so Kyle is not going to be as worth it. Ford has a poison bow, which has 73 to hit, so he can actually do some some damage. And then Orson, who is kind of going to be my saving grace in this one, again, he's got Aura, which has 15 might, 103 to hit, 25 crit. <laughs> um, he is pretty good. He just needs some sort of heal staff. He just doesn't have that. But Hey Carter. Yep. I feel like for future when we record okay, so when we record, as you know, we record a whole bunch of stuff at once. But what we've been doing for the fire emblem and stuff is we've been recording the vanilla than the hardcore. Yeah. And I just look at our upload schedule and it makes more sense for continuity for us to uh uh record the hardcore and then the vanilla. Really? Yeah, because this is going to come out before the vanilla episode. Hmm. And you're talking about stuff from vanilla, so people aren't going to know what the fuck you're talking about. Hmm. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I just realized it looking at the schedule. So. Also, shout out to the fact that we upload a new video every single day. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. Um, ugh. Also something I didn't consider was that um, these soldiers were gonna... Oh, okay, this uh, guy is not... Holy fuck! So an animal crossing my hot item today is a hay bed, which uh, uses weeds. And they have a ton of weeds. So I just sold a whole bunch of hay beds for uh, 20,000 bells. Oh, shit. Yeah. So good for me. Yeah, good for you. God damn. Okay. Um... Oh, skeet, skeet. So I'm trying to use Ford's... Um... I'm trying to use Ford um, right now because he's got the poison 
Um, wait, wait, babe. Yeah. Carter, is Ford on a horse? No, he's an archer in this oh, one. Motherfucker, I was gonna say because because that means that's a that's a Ford Mustang. Oh my gosh. He's gonna make Ford jokes. So I'll say right now that this mission's gonna be a lot easier to train Ephraim in than the previous one because. You mean the future one? Sorry. That's all I'm gonna say. I had a lot of trouble. <sighs> God damn it. Now this is going to be really hard to kind of keep in continuity, because I'm trying to mm -hmm. reference things that happened to the other one that we just recorded. You know what? We're learning. This is a learning experience for us. Yeah. So, if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. Then we aren't the channel for you. So I just realized something. Um, so how much you love me? These soldiers are fuck- these uh, thieves are fucking stupid. They've ran all the way to the top of the throne, and they're just sitting beside the leader. <laughs> what if they ambush you? I don't see why they would. I mean, like, once once everyone's in the throne room. Then I'll just fucking throw Orson at them, probably. True. But this uh, mission, I am not going to be doing it as... Um, I'm not going to be playing it the same way that I would normally play it. Um. Oh, shit! That guy's coming for me. The guy with the spear? The guy with the spear, yeah. Nice. Okay. So, I need to ambush him as soon as he tries to get in close. So, I'm going to have... Mm. Yeah. The vision comes on the fish in Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, those? Yeah. Oh, shit. So I'm trying to train up, uh, File. File. <laughs> Ford and Kyle right now. File. Yeah, I call them File. I mean, I called you Carl the other day, so. Alright, let's, uh,. Bring Orson up here. I'm to sorry, I called you Carl yesterday. Yeah, you called me Carl. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was funny, babe. So, if so you're ever a drunk, your drunk self is gonna be Carl, okay? Oh God. <laughs> All right, so we got Carl here. It's Carl. Carl, that kills people. I will say that this gives good, um, there's a lot of, like, easy kills here, because some characters have HP that, that's as low as, like, 10, so certain characters get destroyed so much easier on, on the crazy run than on the, um, the not crazy run. Vanilla? <laughs> yeah, thank you. What is the opposite of crazy? We should have called this the BDSM run. No! Why? I'm not calling it the BDSM run. Why? That's what it is. You're torturing yourself, and you're gaining pleasure out of it. Am I gaining pleasure from this? I mean, you're playing a Fire Emblem game. Oh my god. I think that's just how you feel when you play Fire Emblem. Alright, so what do we have here? Um, next up is this guy. So I will say that one of the good things about having um, having Ephraim being a uh, oh god I can't I can't think right now. How do words? How do words good? How do words good, guys? I I, I don't know how do words good. Um, Ephraim having an axe allows me to actually get him a lot more experience in this mission. Considering that, uh... Wait, Ephraim's an axe unit in this? Yeah, he's a journeyman. So, he's gotta be your favorite character then, right? Because you love axe units. I can't even remember what I said I was going to do for this mission. Like, if I was gonna make it, um... I forget which one I was gonna make the... 
The Ephraim run? Yeah. Vanilla. Ephraim was gonna be the vanilla. Okay, so you were originally were gonna make this run the Ephraim run. Okay. But then you were saying that you were gonna make the vanilla run the Ephraim run. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Because okay. it's easier to do Seth only on the harder difficulty. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Mm. Alright. I can't wait to play Seth for the channel. Yeah. Yeah, once we're done, one of our many fucking Let's Plays. How many are we doing? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got a five, lot of six. Let's Plays going yeah, at the same time. Yeah, we have six Let's Plays in a podcast. I didn't even realize that. Jeez. Yeah, well, that's why we have content every day. Oh, it's actually playing the right song <laughs> for this mission. Oh. <laughs> so, something that I haven't been able to show you guys, um, everyone watching at home, uh, is that I've put on like a song in the background because when I record the screen, it doesn't record the music. And... Uh, I have it for the crazy run that it changes the song every, pretty much every turn. So, yeah, that's been happening. I want to annoy you so bad. Do not annoy me, please. Um, okay, let's see here. Normally when Carter is doing things and we're not recording, I just start annoying him. So I'm like Ooh. trying not to annoy him right now. That's interesting. Isabel's doing big stretchy. She's doing big stretchy? Yeah, I hope she's doing big steppy. Okay, so I'm hoping you all know that the cat he doing big steppy. Uh, whenever Carter's mom's dog stretches, she w t takes like one really big step, and I'm always like, "Oh, she doing big steppy," and Carter thought that that was just like a thing I made up for her. And then this one group was like doing a big steppy group. I mean, a big steppy thread. So like one person had like their horse doing big steppy, and some cats and some dogs, and I had to be like, "See, big steppy isn't just a thing I made up. It's actually like a thing." Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, big steppy. Oh, I got a lockpick, which I can't use. Um, I need to get Kyle away from this fucking guy. He's probably going to try and steal the, the I have to lockpick. relocate my, uh, my museum. Yeah, I already did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, pff, I that was awesome. I why are there scratch marks on my boobs? And then I realized we uh, stole the lockpick? He stole the lockpick back from me. Oh, fuck. He was like, fuck you, you're not getting that lockpick. I was gonna be like, why are there scratch marks on my boobs? And then I realized we bathed the dog. Oh, yeah, we just uh, bathed our dog today. Yeah. I, uh, I put on my swimsuit and I went in the tub with her. <laughs> that I could hold on to her. She's like this tiny little thing. She's like, what, five pounds? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. adorable. Yeah. She's like... She's like a mix of a whole bunch of things. She's got like some big breeds in her, but she's also got uh, small breeds. She's got Chihuahua in her, right? Uh, I don't think she has Chihuahua. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what she has, to be honest. Yeah. We'll probably like make a video about Haley. Include Haley in the, uh, in the vlog. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, um... Let's see. Oh. So all I need is for Orson to take out the guys who have, um... Oh, I don't have enough money. I need Orson to take out the guys who have the iron swords. Um, actually, once I get, hmm, oh, this is just a straightaway. Fucking, I can just send everyone down here. All right, come on, guys, let's go. All right, so we're going to send everyone down this way. Orson's going to hold up the back.
Alright. So luckily the main guys in like this main room all have weapons that only do 41 to hit, except for this guy in the corner. But I hope he switches to the steel sword because that would be hilarious. Mm. Actually. I keep forgetting that I have an archer. So this guy is just gonna die. Baby, can you stop doing that? Okay. <laughs> Please. That was annoying, Carter. Yeah, like, inconveniencing me. So this guy dies. Oh, nobody gets the steel sword. <laughs> That's sad. Oh. Hello, darkness, my friend. Okay, so I need to kill this pirate before he tries to switch weapons. Because his hammer is infinitely more better. I guess it's the word I can look for here. Which, lucky for me, um, this game was like, hey, you want to have skills? Because skills are cool. And one of those skills that they added was like, hey, you can shove people. Oh, shove is a thing in this game? Yeah. Boom. I just got oh, me. Oh yeah, shove was a thing in this game. That's how you got through that, uh... It was one of the things that they added. So... So... None of these guys are going to be able to hit Orson. But I kind of don't want Orson to get all that experience. Ooh, there's no one else I can really use because uh, Ford and Kyle are both archers in this. And I kind of want to give the aura to... Mm. God damn it. Whoa! Oh, pff, I didn't even see that fucking... Monk just fly out of nowhere. As monks do. Yeah. So monks in this game use light magic. Every time you say monk, I think D and D monk. Yeah, I think D and D monk too. Which, granted, you know that's. Oh, I think that should be my one shot character. I've only ever played a monk once. No, I don't even remember. You. Oh, you weren't there. I'll uh, I'll tell you about it later. Was it an interesting character? Um... Actually, no, I played two monks. I'll tell you about the one monk, though. I played this tiefling monk who, um... He had swore a, uh, an oath of silence. And, uh, he broke his silence because he stubbed his toe and yelled fuck. <laughs> he got kicked out of his monastery. And he was, like, this middle-aged guy, and he was, like, really not doing well in life. <laughs> I don't remember this at all, yeah, but no, that sounds was, amazing. I had this D and D group in Toronto for a while. Okay. Because um, yeah, stuff I'll tell you like when we're not recording. But they were like they were really good people. They were really fun to play with. But like schedules got the best of us. True. Yeah, as as it is with uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, the schedules always seem to be the, uh... Schedules are a killer. God damn it. Am I actually only able to fucking use Orson for this? I think I can only use Orson for this fucking asshole. F. Press F to pay respects. Please actually just... What the fuck? What? What kind of bullshit is that? What kind of fuckery is this? Can you explain? So, Orson is like the almighty god of this fucking chapter with this weapon that he has, which can do 103 to hit, might 15, crit 25 and bullshit. And then this guy, apparently um, in Fire Emblem, the Game Boy Advance games, there is a, another weapon triangle which is a magic triangle. Yeah. Um, and uh, this guy 
it's it goes like anima magic is better than light magic light magic is better than dark magic dark magic is better than anima magic yeah but, uh, yeah, that's what's going on here, and this fucker is just able to fucking... I want you to check these stats for me. Well, so he can hit twice at 100% with three. Mm -hmm. So he's just whittling me away, and fucking Orson... Also, watch if there's a candle going. Oh my god, I didn't yeah. even notice that. I got a hole in this shirt. Got a hole in your shirt. Carter's wearing a fire emblem shirt. God fucking damn it. Literally nobody can do this. Well, fuck. Um. 9 plus 9 is 18, right? Yes. Fuck! I think so. I can't do that. I legitimately can't do math. I have a learning disability. Oh my god. So I might actually get killed here. Oh! Fuck. If Orson cannot crit, then I am gonna die. Thank you! Alright. So. Now that we have that, we are going to trade our aura to Mr. Ephraim, so we can at least- <laughs> What? Do you see it? Hey, that's the weed number. <laughs> Alright. Finished it off. Okay. Oh. I've got a Nook Miles ticket. Let's see who I get. Got a Nook Miles ticket. Yeah. Let's see. Let's don't keep recording. All right, what's gonna happen? Okay, there's a whole bunch of texts I have to go through from Moorville. Okay, come on. Am I annoying you yet? Nope, you're not. Lying directly across, Carter. Yes, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. That's me. I'm trying to look over all the stuff that I have for this file. Okay. Who is it? Is it Audie? I really want Audie. Is Audie in this game? Yes, Audie. Audie's new to this game. I'm gonna save here while you're doing this. Okay. We keep recording. Oh okay, yeah, we're we're still recording. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a bear. Who's the bear? I don't know. Who are you, bear? What kind of what kind of bear? Looks like he's dressed like Julius Caesar. His name is Klaus. Oh my God. What? You've got like a Julius Caesar bear, and then uh, Sterling. <laughs> yeah. The the night bird. Yeah. You're gonna have like a D and D town. Oh my God. I'm not gonna get Klaus. No? No. I'd get close. Okay, well then you get close, because I'm not going to. Well, I to. can't get close, because I'm not on that island. Well then... And we're finishing the fire, this part of Fire Emblem Crazy Part 6. That's true. Yeah, so anything else you want to say? Because you're blocking the mic? Um... Play Animal 